Hey everybody, I have a quick video for you. I am just working on mounting my Melee mini computer to my telescope. I have been messing around with it for about a half an hour trying to figure out how I might mount this. And I think I came up with something I thought I'd share it with you. Maybe it might help you with an idea if you're working on mounting a computer or, or something else to your telescope. I'll show you the way that I came about it. So stick around. My name is Doug and this is Astro AF. All right, so I have tried a whole bunch of stuff. I had some DIN rail and I tried different mounting on my Losmondy rail here on the bottom and nothing was working out or lining up. I actually tried, I have a short Vixen style rail and I was trying to see if I could make it work in some way and then uh, went out on YouTube and watched a few videos on how other people might have done this and none of that was working out for me. So I just started messing around and uh, at first I was going to see if I could mount them, uh, mount the computer here on my, on my rings by taking the, uh, the thumb screw off here and sliding them this over. But the threads on the, uh, on this threaded rod that comes up through there is a little bit too big to make it through the slot in the mounting bracket. So after trying that for some time, I, I did have my, my power box mounted up here and I thought, well, I might have more options with where I can put the, the uh, power hub and, uh, and I still may have a solution for that to keep it on top. So what I did is I, I adjusted my rings so that they line up with the um, correct width on this bracket here. And uh, so I can just screw this down with my standard hex head screws and, uh, and attach that. Now this used to be kind of straight here. I bolted it down and then I, I bent this down until I got an angle that was gonna work out for me and this passes over the top of these thumb screws. Um, I rarely, if ever, do I need to take this off. And if I do, then it's not gonna be any big deal to unscrew a couple screws from the, from the uh, top of the, uh, of the ring mounts here and pull the computer off because I, I would probably be doing that anyway. So uh, one thing that I did find out though is with the screws that came with the mini computer, if, if I try to screw them in like this and attach the plate, the screws won't thread all the way in to where it's tight and I can securely attach the plate so the, the, the plate stays a little bit loose. So what I thought I'd do is I have this um, foam that's been sitting around for a long time and I thought, and it really compresses a lot. So I think I can put some foam on the back side of this and put it on here and compress it down and then screw this in and that should take up some a little bit of space to allow these tiny little screws that we have here to uh, to tighten all the way down. So we'll give that a shot. And I think I'm just going to go right behind these and I'll just cut off the excess. Just like that, That's, this foam is adhesive on one side. And then I can sort of push this down, I guess, and compress it so that it's a little bit flatter. And then let's see if this will screw down tight to the uh, mini computer now, which I think it will. And these screws are so small.
Yeah, that worked. And having the foam in there will be okay. If you had a mini computer with a fan in it, it might be a good idea to go ahead and put foam in there anyway um, to help isolate the mount from the PC if it had a fan. And then from here, yeah, and then I can mount this just like that. So this is cool because there's three USB ports here and another USB port here. And then I've got the power supply to this and my network. So those are all going to be accessible. So this will be pointing down so these cables can go straight down to the Lozman D rail and I can manage my cables there. And the USB ports that are here are pointing toward the cameras and everything. So this will be great. So I think what I can do then is I've got uh, one of these hex bolts and I'm going to put a little washer on it just uh, to keep from or to, whoop, or to help hold this down. I had to put the computer on first because otherwise once it's on here I couldn't get the screws in the underside of it. But really I just had to relocate my front ring a little bit to get the spacing correct and with the um, mounting bracket. Now I do have a a handle that I'd like to install on this and I don't have it yet and so I'm, I'm not sure if this is going to cause problems with trying to install the handle. It may, I'm not sure. So on the back of this plate here I have one more screw and I was thinking that maybe there might be a way for me to attach my power hub in here and we will see. I push this screw over all the way if I can get it in there and I cannot. Let's see if this way. So I'm going to have to find out a new solution for where I'm going to mount my power hub. It potentially could Well, we'll see. I really don't know yet. <laughs> so every time you change something, then it interferes with something else. So I will have to uh, uh, see what kind of plan I can come up for how I'm going to mount the power hub now. But for the time being, I'm pretty happy with where the uh, computer is mounted. So I think this will work good. And I'll just build out around this and we will see how it goes. So that's it. So my PC is mounted to the computer. I can... I needed to do this so that I could go ahead and get things wired up and I need to connect to the mount and I need to do my testing as I'm setting up my software and making sure that all my drivers and everything are working and ports are configured correctly, all that stuff. And so with this getting up here now, then I can centralize everything and, and get this up on the, uh, the mount and start testing. So I hope you like this video. Thanks so much for hanging out. And my name is Doug, and this is Astro AF.